Hi, this is Big Great Deals. Um, today we're going to do a really quick instructional video for how to update Exodus and add Elysium. Um, basically, TT has a new repo and that's all we're really going to do. If you've already um, seen the video or tried to fix this and now you're still having problems, the reason is, is that that repo is no longer available or the one that you have in there isn't and we're going to update that. So basically what you want to do, for those that have never done it, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go over to System, go down to File Manager, select it, and you're going to Add Source. <clears throat> okay, you're going to select Add Source. In this box, you're going to type the following. I'm going to try to make that a little bigger. Okay, you're going to type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash top tutorials repo dot co dot uk forward slash Cody forward slash. Now, I'm trying to get this to where it could actually show up kind of clear. But as usual, I'm going to put it in the uh, description of this video if you can't see it here. So basically, you could just pause it if you want and write it down. Or you can try to put it in if you can see it. Okay, once you type that in, you're going to go down and enter the name. And I call it TT. So you could just put in there TT and then select OK. Once you select OK, it's going to, you know, basically load down there. And once you finish putting it in, you're going to go to System, Add-ons, go to Install from Zip File, and you go, to, go down to the TT that you just created, select it, you're going to go to Repos, and then what you're going to do is you're going to select... <clears throat> The repository for Exodus and these are pretty much in alphabetical order so you're going to go down and select the repository Exodus dot I mean dash 3.0 select that and then it's gonna basically load in the right corner of your screen and you'll see it once it's updated it'll say Exodus repository add-on updated like you see right there in my corner all right Okay, then once you do that, you're going to hit install from zip file again, go down to TT, because now we're going to actually um, install the Elysium repository. So you're going to go to repos, go down to Elysium, repository.elysium, right here, dash 10 the zip for that. Select that and then it'll update in the corner of your screen. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again. I just did the first one so you can see what it looks like. All right, so then once you're done with that, you're going to come back out and go to install from repository. Then you're going to go down and you're going to go to Elysium repository, select it, and go to video add ons, select it. Then you're going to see Elysium. You're going to select it, and you're going to have install, the option to install here, because you haven't installed it yet. So then you're going to select install, and then it's going to um, update. And it'll show in that bottom right corner like it did before for the add-on and update it. And then so now you have the updated version of Exodus and Elysium. And so in order to see those two, um, you're going to go to your video add-ons. Exodus will just be updated. If you have it already on our sticks, we usually have it as the first little icon down under videos. So it'll be there, but it'll be updated. For Elysium, you're going to go to video add-ons. And it's usually alphabetical, so then you'll see it over here. Okay? So then there you go. 
once you see it, you select it and it'll open up and it's similar to Exodus. You'll see movies, TV shows, you know, same kind of search options. So you select movies, same concept. You can go in here and it basically lists the way you can search new movies, what's popular, what's featured, and then it'll, you know, populate whenever you select one. I selected new movies, so now it'll um, either update. If, it, if that search option works, it'll update. Obviously, it doesn't, so it didn't update, so I'll go to popular, see if it works. Okay, popular works. So then I went to popular, it populated with what's popular. And you do the same thing like you do in Exodus. You can select a movie, then all the streams will pop up, and you can um, watch it. Okay, so this has another, it's another option for movies and TV shows. So just wanted to give you that option and that update for the fix for Exodus. Now, you if you're still getting errors after you do this update, you probably have an earlier version of the Kodi software, and we need to update your stick. So basically um it won't be updating and this fix won't work it'll still show no stream available no stream available if you had at 16.1 and you can just basically send it to us or shoot us an email and we'll give you um exactly the instructions what to do to get your uh, stick updated all right so thank you guys so much for watching uh, have a great day